like the show, students learn to keep going no matter how bad things look in those first brush strokes. It'll all turn out okay. That's pretty awesome. Sending things over to Jacqueline Shear for one last check of your afternoon forecast. Still freezing out there, <laughs> Jacqueline. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Plenty of sun, though. There's not much of what Bob Ross would call happy little clouds out there. So we're seeing a lot of beautiful sunshine. Temperatures right now in the 30s in Winston-Salem, but it feels more like the upper 20s there once you factor in that wind. Greensboro right now at 33 degrees feels like 25. And as we head towards High Point, well, they're lucky. And lucky right now is 38 degrees. That feels like 31. But for the most part, we're in the 30s. We feel like the 20s. Now the mountains, however, a different story because there, well, it is the 20s. We're at 26 degrees in Jefferson, 25 in Sparta, 25 in Galax as well. So definitely a chilly uh, afternoon here. And once you factor that wind in, it feels like the teens. At some points, it actually feels like the single digit once we get stronger breezes in from time to time. But right now it feels like 14 degrees in Sparta, Galax, and Stewart as we're heading into your Friday afternoon. Elsewhere, this is a look at the wind chill numbers all throughout the region. Still feels like it's below freezing or right at freezing all throughout our forecast area. Here's a look at the mountains today. We stay below freezing all day today. Those wind chills stay about where they are, so don't expect much improvement as we head into your afternoon. The foothills temperature is climbing into the upper 30s, so staying cool there, winds will start to die down as we head through the next few hours. The triad temperatures will reach the 40s, barely 40 degrees will be our high today, winds stay on the breezier side, and then tomorrow morning we wake up to temperatures in the 20s throughout the area, so definitely expecting some chill to start off the weekend, and then by the time we head towards Sunday, the second half of the weekend, we are seeing some chances for some pretty significant winter weather, significant in that it could affect those roadways. So let's take a look at how it all times out. We have sun throughout the day today and then through most of Saturday, but those clouds start to build into Saturday afternoon. Late Saturday into Sunday, well that's when we start to see some of that wet weather push in and as temperatures are pretty cold at that point, there is a chance that some of that early precipitation will be a wintry mix that pushes through our area. Early on Sunday, there's still a chance that we could see some snow mixing in with that rain down to the triad, but that's a very slight chance at this point and looking even more slight every time we get new data in. The more likely scenario is that we see this pink here, which for us will mean some freezing rain and some sleet, especially in the triad. Accumulations will be slight, but of course on that Sunday morning it will mean some slick conditions, so maybe plan to sleep in on Sunday. Don't want to be running errands during that time, that's for sure. As we head into Sunday afternoon, things will start to dry out, clear out for us. We'll keep those clouds, but at least the wet weather will move out of the picture, and that's what we'll see for Sunday or for Monday. Monday as well, a few more scattered showers, but most of Monday looking dry. Monday morning though, we are talking about some slick conditions, so if you're looking to head to your next work week here on this Friday, plan a few extra minutes that morning. Well,